Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today we are looking at the Guilds of Ravnica booster box. So, the return of the return to Ravnica. And I'm just going to get cracking because uh, there should be some good stuff in here. Alright. So the set so far looks pretty good. And we've gone through pre-release and uh, and all that stuff, and it's on Magic Arena, so yeah, set's looking good. Let's see what we get. So, Intrusive Pack Beast, never happened. Iron Shell Beetle, Cosmotronic Wave, Passful Adept, Barhelion Patrol, Gogari Locket, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitless Gorgon, Candlelight Vigil, we got Conclave Cavalier, Disinformation Campaign, love this card. In Limited, it's just, it's, yeah, the card advantage is just amazing. Uh, Rock Charger. And then our rare is a Beast Whisperer, so 4 mana, 2, 3 Elf Druid, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. That is pretty good. Card draw is always welcome, and it's in green, so even better. And then a Celestia Guildgate. Um, there's a Guildgate in every pack, and a Ral emblem as well. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of multi pillared cards because of the guild theme, surprisingly. So five guilds in the set. Got Demir Informant, Demir is one of them. Blade Instructor, got Seven Strands, Hitchclaw Recluse, Direct Current, Disdainful Stroke, Pillar Piston for Cyclops, Boris Locket, Sumala Woodshaper, and Maximize Velocity. And we've got Swarm Guild Mage, Lead of Champion, Lolith, Lotleth Giant, and a Blood Operative as the rare. So three mana, three one, Vampire with lifelink when it enters the battlefield, you may exile a target card from a graveyard. And whenever you surveil, if it's in your graveyard, you can pay three life. If you do, return it to your hand. So, pretty good uh, recursion with the Demir mechanic of surveil. So, surveil is kind of like if Explore and uh, Scry had a baby um, that neither of them wanted. But to be fair, surveil is really good as a mechanic. Let's you fix your, your draws and also ditch stuff into the graveyard that you might want in your graveyard. So you've got Blade Instructor, Hired Poisoner, Crushing Canopy, Ornery Goblin, Dazzling Lights, Swarm Companions, Gateway Plaza, Golgari Locket, Wall of Mist, Rosemane Centaur, and then a Golgari Fine Broker, Swathcut Giant, Necrotic Wound, and Legion War Boss as the rare. So 3 mana 2 2 Goblin with Mentor. Mentor is the Boros mechanic. Uh, where if you attack with more than one creature, if one of them has less power than the Mentor, you can put a plus one plus one counter on it. And at the beginning of your com of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. That cr token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. So, yeah, he kind of generates his own little Mentor targets, which is kind of cool. And the mere Guildgate. So, Bats and Bats, Warrior Copy, Ornery Goblin, Demir Informant, Skyland Scout, Higher Poisoner, Unexplained Disappearance, hyp Hypothesizzle, uh, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Maximize Velocity, and then one of the double cards. So, unlike the ones from sets just gone, you can only cast one side of them. So, this is Integrity and Intervention. Um, both sides are pretty good, actually. Uh, Whispering Snitch. City Watch Sphinx and, oh nice, uh, the money card, Assassin's Trophy. Uh, everyone's going mad over this. So, black and a green for an instant, destroy target permanent and opponent controls, this controller may search the library for basic land, put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle their library. So, unlike other effects like this, the land doesn't come in tapped, so it's more downside, but it's also really, really good removal in black and green, which, uh, is going to see some modern play, it's going to be all over standard, and yeah, it's just, it's just any permanent, like, yeah, you can blow up a land, it's great, it's, just, yeah, solid card, Boris Guildgate, and Elf Knight, so already off to a good start with this box, got Haunted Witness, Veiled Shade, Iron Shell Beetle, Fuck, bodyguard, 
uh, Watcher in the Mist, Healer's Hawk, Douser of Lights, Hypothesis, Pitiless Gorgon, Pause for Reflection, then Legion Guild Mage, Arbreed's Elemental, Smelt Warden Minotaur, and Niv Mizzet. So three blue, three red. He's a 5-5, five five. he can't be countered. He has flying. He's a dragon, of course he does. Um, whenever you draw a card, he deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. So, yeah, I can see this being all right in Commander, because whenever someone casts an instant or sorcery, you draw a card, and you get to ping people down with it. So, yeah, pretty good. Is it Guild Gauge and a Vraska Emblem? So Spinal Centipede, Siege Worm, Fearless Harbadier, Radical Idea, Cold the Culprit, Burglar Rat, Pause for Reflection, Whisper Agent, Righteous Blow, Sonic Assault, and then Krull Harpooner, Enhanced Surveillance, Goblin Crater Maker, and Nice Doom Whisperer, another highly played card at the moment, or at least it is on Arena. Uh, so 5 mana 6 6. Uh, with, so that's all, already amazing. Um, it has flying and trample. You can pay two life and surveil two. So they basically printed a five mana six six with upside because you don't care about paying the two life and surveilling. Um, surveil's just a great mechanic, like I said before, and paying two life is, is nothing to be able to do that. So yeah, solid card. Another Celestia Guildgate and another elf. That should also be in a separate part because it's a mythic. But, you know. Uh, Crushing Canopy, White Bodyguard, Dazzling Lights, Healer Hawk, Child of Night, Prey Upon, Venadi Shield Mate, Whisper Agent, Artful Take Down, and then Flight of Equinauts, World Salt Colossus, Goblin Banneret, and Aurelia, another mythic. And another good one. So, 4 mana, 2 5, Angel with Flying, and Mentor. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose up to one target creature you control. Until end of turn, that creature gets plus two plus O, and gains trample if it's red, and it gains vigilance if it's white. So you can target itself, and it gains both effects. If you target any Boros, like a multicolored Boros card, it gains both effects. And with Mentor as well, you basically buff it. If you're swinging it with more than one thing, you get the plus one plus one counter, and yeah, it's just like the synergy. It's just really good. So Aurelia is. Another just really good card. Uh, I got a Golgari Guildgate and a Foil Disinformation Campaign. For some reason, the Dimir cards look awesome in Foil. Like, better than the other guilds. And, like I said, Disinformation Campaign is just a really good card. Apparently can't get into that one. So another Bart Sam Bats, Wild Ceratoc, Fire Urchin, Vidalcan Mesmerist, Parhelion Patrol, Barrier of Bones, Goblin Electromancer, Demir Locket, Darkblade Agent, Gateway Plaza, then we've got Wee Dragonauts, Arkran Assassin, Rampaging Monument, and Vivid Revival is the rare. So five mana. Sorcery return up to three target multicolored cards from your graveyard to your hand and then exile Vivid Revival. Um, five mana get a bunch of stuff back not too bad um, not sure if it's really going to see a whole lot of play um, maybe in standard certainly good in commander um, but yeah Demir Guildgate and an elf so generous stray direct current Wishcoin Crab, Lockstone Restorer, Barrier of Bones, Urban Utopia, Led of Guardian, Vicious Rumors, as well Trooper, is it a Locket, and then a House Guild Mage, Thought Erasure, Glaive of the Guild Pact, and a Charnel Troll. So three mana, four, four with Trample. Um, that's already really good. So at the beginning of your upkeep, exile a creature card from the graveyard. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on Charnel Troll, otherwise sacrifice it. And you can pay a black and a green, discard a creature card, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. So this guy can get pretty big, uh, three mana, four, four with trample. It's just 
Yeah, that's good stats. Pretty good limited. Can certainly win you a few games. So a short strike, Vidalka Mesmerist, Hunted Witness, Never Happened, Warrior Copy, Command the Storm, Fresh Faced Recruit, Gravitic Punch, Wall of Mist, Pax Favor, and we've got Murmuring Mystic, because you know, everyone loves birds, uh, Silent Dart, Demotion, and then Mission Briefing, another pretty good card. So, two blue for an instant, has Surveil 2. Uh, then choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. And if it be put into the graveyard this turn, exile it instead. So if you're trying to hit a certain spell, you can sort of try and surveil into that spell. Or if there's already something in there, you get to fix your draws and then cast that spell anyway. So, yeah. Another excellent card. Colors Vine, Colors Running Wave, Passwall Adept, Take Heart, Dead Weight, Hitchclaw Recluse, Dallas Reflights, Fresh Face Recruit, Boris Locket, Pulse Reflection, and then Beam Splitter, Mage, Chemist's Insight, Demotion, and another Troll. Oh, already on the doubles. Okay, that, that was a tough one to get into. So, Rubble Welt Boar. Catcher's Fear, Intrusive Pack Beast, Never Happened, Iron Shell Beetle, Garrison Sergeant, Goblin Electromancer, Maximize Velocity, Artful Takedown, and then Conclave Tribunal, Golgari Raiders, Crush Contraband, and an Overgrown Tomb. So Shocks are back, uh, and this is not a bad one to get. So taps for Black Green, you can pay two life, and it enters untapped, otherwise it enters tapped. So, yep, Shocks are always good to get. You'd never sad to get a shock. Boris Guildgate, and we also have a Boris Locket in foil. I'll maximize Altitude, Tenth District Guard, Deadly Visit, Generous Stray, Torch Courier, Capture Sphere, Garrison Sergeant, Lenef Guardian, Mephitic Vapors, and then Demir Spybug which I was really sad not to get any of when I was playing pre-release with any of my Demir kits. So, uh, oh well, here it is now. Uh, Crackling Drake, Selective Snare, then Mausoleum Secrets is the rare, so two, uh, well, one and a black for an instant, with Undergrowth. So Undergrowth is the Golgari mechanic from the set. So search your library for a black card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Um, it's just a really good tutor. And as black green, you will be putting a lot of creature cards in your graveyard. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I can see it, see it in play. Another Demir Guildgate and a Hammer Dropper in foil, which also looks quite nice. And another Burb. Cosmotronic Wave, Passable Addict, Pahalian Patrol, Bats and Bats. I'm just going to start skipping because we've seen pretty much all of these now. Uh, apart from Notion Rain, haven't seen that. True Fire Captain. Then we've got Flower and Flourish. Inescapable Blaze. And another Mission Briefing. Never sad to get multiples of those. Seems like there are a fair few good rares in this set, at least. Uh, got Leapfrog, Barging Sergeant, Unexplained Disappearance, another Locket, then we've got Conclave Guild Mage, Price of Fame, Thoughtbound Phantasm, another great uh, surveil payoff card, and Drowned Secrets. So, a one and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So, more mill. Um, there could well be a mill deck in this uh, standard format because there was a fair bit in uh, M19 and there's some from Ixalan as well so yeah it, it could work. Is it Guildgate and a soldier? Not even really half the through the box yet we've already had some great stuff. It's 
just hope it continues. So disdainful strokes, got that scout. Some other wood shaper. I'm just highlighting stuff that we haven't seen now. Uh, glow spore shaman, creeping chill, night veil sprite, and erratic cyclops. So four mana, zero, eight with trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it gains plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is that spell's CMC. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be awful, but it's a fun card um, in like an is it spell deck where you just cast a bunch of sorceries pre-combat and then swing in for, for big. Um, it could be good, who knows. Uh, certainly one of the more fun cards from the set. You kind of have to plan your turns around it. We've got Golgari Guildgate and a Cruel Swarm as a foil and a little verb. So many bird tokens. So again, skip, skip, skip. Pretty sure we've seen everything from there, apart from Rizome Lurcher. Then we've got Guild Summit, Whispering Snitch. Book Devourer and Fire Mines Research. So blue and a red enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Fire Mines Research. You can pay two, remove two charge counters and draw a card, or pay two, remove five charge counters and deal five damage to any target. Um, this card is pretty bad. Um, the draw isn't too bad, but it's also ridiculously slow. Um, because you're paying the two mana, then you're casting other spells to put counters on it, and then you're paying extra mana to then remove the counters to get an effect. And this removing five counters from it just to deal five damage seems meh. But the draw card isn't that bad, I suppose. But there's just better draw spells that you could be playing instead. So Take Heart, Urban Utopia, Shore Strike, Luminous Bonds. We've got Crawl, Swarm, Plague Crafter, Nightfell Sprite, and another Midnight Reaper. Did I just say another Midnight Reaper? We haven't seen Midnight Reaper yet. Um, three mana, three two, Zombie Knight. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, it deals one damage to you and you draw a card. Uh, I did have somebody lose a game at pre-release because, because they played that. Um, and then there are the creatures just, yeah, it's basically a case that, okay, so I'll swing in with everything, okay, if you take the damage, you die, if you block, you die, I think it's just, there was no way out of it. Uh, Tenth District Guard, Moodmark Painter, Crawl Foragers, Goblin Locksmith, Muse Drake, Cold the Coprit, Garrison Sergeant, then we've got Beacon Bolt, Thought Erasure, Glaive of the Guild Pact, and the Hatchery Spider. So 7 mana, 5, 7. Uh, with Reach and Undergrowth, when you cast this spell, reveal top X cards of your library, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. You may put a green permanent card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Um, yeah, it's not actually that bad. I mean, it's an alright payoff card for kind of ramping. Because, you know, 7 mana, you get a 5-7 with reach, which is alright, it's respectable. But then you also get something else, which, you know, you can't really plan for. But if you've already got, like, 5 creatures in your graveyard, then reveal top 5 cards and then get something of 5 or less. It's pretty good. So there's your guild gate and an elf knight. Healer's Hawk, Prey Upon, Under City Uprising, Devious Cover Up. We've got Night Veil Predator. This thing's just disgusting and limited. Like 4 mana, 3 through, Flying and Death Touch, and Hexproof. It's just blech. Uh, unless it's on your side of the board, in which case it's like, yeah. Uh, Boris Challenger, Wand of Vertebrae. Then we have a split card. So Assure and Assemble. So green white or green white um put a plus one plus one counter on target creature that creature gains indestructible until the end of turn it's a nice little combat trick uh, and assemble create three two two white uh, green and white of knight creature tokens with vigilance um so yeah, 
the second half of the spell always seems like slightly overcosted um, with these split cards, but the the first half seems like fair, and the fact that you're getting you know the choice is why the second half is overcosted. But um, most of them are fairly solid, and yeah, this one's alright. I think a lot of people are playing in the uh, the knight, like the green white knight deck that's floating around a lot on arena at the moment. We've got Boris Guildgate and ooh, nice foil rare Thief of Sanity. So one a blue and a black for a two-two Spectre with flying. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library, exile one of them face down, and put the rest in the graveyard. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it, you may cast it, you may sp spend mana uh, as though any mana, as though mana of any color to cast it. So. Yeah, solid. I mean, it's got evasion, so chances are you will probably deal combat damage. And yeah, free casting cards, pretty good. Also, it doesn't exile it underneath it, it just exiles it face down. And so, as long as that card remains exiled, like it's not one of the effects where it's like it goes under this card, and once this card dies, you can never cast that again, kind of like Hostage Taker. Um, it's just like straight up. Whenever you want, you can cast that spell, even if that's dead. Which is kind of a cool effect. Uh, well, Ceratok. Got Radical Idea. Uh, Deadly Visit. Maniacal Rage. Righteous Blue. True Fire Captain. Swarm Guild Mage. Street Riot. And Unmoored Ego. Um, so one, a blue and a black for a sorcery, choose a card name, search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library then draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. Um, yeah, it's alright. Like, I've seen a very silly deck with it in, um, where also somebody just guessed that someone was playing 14 Whisperers off the fact they were, they started off with like, two black and a green or something as their mana base and so they cast this on turn three chose Tomb Whisperer and just happened to hit four of them which was yeah, just a funny play <laughs> that was on Arena so it never happened maximize altitude notion rain Pax favor hypothesis all Join Shields, Sun Hope Stalwart, Hazda Marshall, and Guild Mages Forum. So it's a land, taps for colourless, or you can pay one and tap it to add one mana of any colour. If that mana is spent on a multicoloured creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional, additional plus one plus one counter on it. Um, yeah, I think if all of your creature base is multicoloured, then it's possibly worth playing this, but other than that, it's it's not that good. Uh, dead weight, Devious Cover Up, Fire Urchin, Luminous Bonds, Rosemary Centaur, uh, Dark Blade, and then we've got Hellkite Whelp, Sir. Uh, Sir. Sir <laughs> I will pronounce this. So, circuit. No, no, I just. I don't know why I'm, I'm slipping up on that one. Go for battle. Bounty Agent. Yes, I can pronounce that name. Um, so, Bounty Agent, 2 mana, 2 2, with Vigilance. You can tap it and sack it. Uh, destroy it, target legendary permanent that's an artifact, creature, or enchantment. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work on Planeswalkers. Other than that, it's not bad if there's a lot of legendary creatures floating around in the format. Other than that, it's just a 2-2 bear with vigilance. Uh, Dev Curran, Dissident. Uh, lots of stuff we've already seen. Walled Mist. Got Status and Statue. Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Creeping Chill. And Second Shock of the Box, which is Temple Garden. So, same as before. Pay two life and it enters untapped. And it adds green or white. Uh, 
think it's quite nice that shocks are back. It means they'll be back in the next set as well, though. Um, for all the other guilds. Yeah, we've definitely seen all of those. Conclave Tribunal, Led of Champion, Inspiring Unicorn, and Arc Light Phoenix as a Mythic. So, 4 mana, 3, 2, Flying Haste. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you've cast 3 or more instant and sorcery spells this turn, return Arc Light Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. Um, so, another Phoenix effect. It's. It's a lot of work to get it back from the graveyard. Uh, but I suppose if you've got multiples in the graveyard, then, you know, you cast three instant and all sorceries. Um, yeah. You, you get multiples back, so. Who knows, maybe it'll be good. Uh, but it's certainly not as good as Rekindling Phoenix. So you have to do a lot more work to get that back. Uh, Veiled Shade, Dakarin, blah blah blah. Yeah, definitely seen well, Biggest Ball Worm. So, Discovery and Dispersal. Mulder Hulk, Coblin Crater Maker. And another split card in Demir. So, Connive and Concoct. Um, so, 4 mana, gain control of the target creature with a power 2 or less. That's just a straight up steal effect. Like, no, give it back at end of turn or anything like that. And Concoct, 5 mana, Surveil 3, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, both halves are pretty good. Um, both halves can be very, very swingy in the game. So, yeah. Concoct is going to be great on something like a Doom Whisperer, for instance. Um, and Connive, if they're an aggro y sort of deck, you can steal their creature and uh, kind of block with it or whatever to keep you alive. So, yeah. Not too bad. Stray. Okay, so we've got League Guild Mage. Just, just eh, start that again. Justice Strike, uh, Plague Crafter, and a Runaway Steamkin. So two mana, one one. Whenever you cast a red spell, if it has fewer than three plus one plus one counters on it, put a plus one plus one counter on it, uh, and then you can remove three uh, counters from it to add triple red. So. Maybe you want to play a massive X for a Banefire or something like that. Um, so yeah, you can just swing in and... Because Banefire is an instant, right? I think it is. Swing in with this if they block. Sacrifice it. Well, not sacrifice it, but remove the three counters from it. to Or like deal damage with it and then remove three counters from it. And then cast a big Banefire or something like that. It, maybe... I'm sure someone will try and make it work. Seems like a lot of effort for the uh, the payoff though. Uh, skip, skip, skip. A lava coil, necrotic wound, sinister sabotage, and a Vraska. Nice. So two, a black and a green for a Vraska plane talker. Uh, she comes in with four loyalty, which is. Uh, pretty good when you're paying 4 mana. Uh, she has plus 2, you may sacrifice another permanent. If you do, gain 1 life and draw a card. Otherwise, you just get plus 2 loyalty. Her minus 3, destroy target non land permanent with converted mana cost 3 or less. Um, good if you need to stay alive. And minus 9, you get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Um, yeah, that's... That's just a thing. So you need to plus her a fair amount of turns and also kind of protect her, which none of her abilities do. But if you're playing, you know, the Golgari strategy, you're you should be fairly creature heavy, so you should have blockers. Um, and yeah, you just keep. It's also not actually. Uh, I know it's combat damage, so you do have to swing in. But a lot of the Golgari big creatures have trample, so... Yeah, basically, big stompies can win you the game with the Frasca. Mm. 
or you just splash into blue and then have some disgusting unblockable thing. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, we've pretty much seen all those. Affectionate Indrik, Sinister Sabotage, Rock Charger, and then Citywide Bust is our rare. I do quite like this one actually. Uh, so, two white and one for a sorcery. Destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. Um, yeah, basically just kill the fatties. It's. Yeah. It's pretty good. Like, it's situational. Um, more like a sideboard kind of card, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, Golgari Guildgate and a fresh faced recruit in foil. Skip, skip, skip. Oh, the Veil Shade, I don't believe I said that word today. Uh, Sonic Assault, Vicious Rumors, and then Flower and Flourish. Undercity, Necrolisk, Chemist's Insight, and Quasi Duplicate. So one and two blue for a sorcery. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. And it also has Jumpstart, which is the Is It mechanic, where you can cast this spell from your graveyard, but you also have to discard a card from your hand as an additional cost. Um, so yeah, I'm, people will play this just to as a laugh, to be honest. Um, uh, it could be good because you can, you know, jumpstart it as well and get an extra copy. But yeah, we'll see. I guess in the long run uh, how it pans out. But it's a fun card, definitely fun. Guildgate and a fire urchin in foil. Last thing, a lot of the is it style cards are just fun. Burglar Rat. That's one I don't remember saying, but may well have. Uh, I got Boris Challenger, Cruel Harpooner, Book Devourer, and an Amara Soul of the Accord. So green and white for a 2 2 legendary elf cleric. Whenever she becomes tapped, create a 1 1 white soldier creature token with lifelink. So it works great in the Selesnya mechanic of Convoke. So you can tap her to pay for stuff, um, like your, your Convoke cards, which then generates a soldier, or just attack with her, which also generates a soldier. So, um, a fair few ways that you can kind of tap her down to, to keep getting the benefit of generation, generating uh, the one ones, and then they tap for bigger stuff, and yeah, it's just a solid card. Uh, it's seeing a fair bit of play at the moment on Arena. Which, granted, isn't the best um, kind of indication of whether something's going to be played or not, but... You know. Golgari Finebroker, Night Vale Predator, Sprouting Renewal, and Find and Finality. So, a, either double black, double green, or mix and match to return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. And then finality is six mana, sorcery, you may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control, then all creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. Um, yeah, so again, feels like you're kind of overpaying for the second half a little bit, maybe like by one mana, but having the option of casting that is why it costs more. Um, and find is just solid because in the Golgari strategy, you are ditching cards into your graveyard um, or just... You, know, you don't care if they die, so then you can get them back. Again, just skip, skip, skip. Status and statue again. World Soul, Colossus, Goblin Banneret, and another mythic. Trostani, Discordant. So three, a green and a white for a legendary Dryad. She's a one four. Uh, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. When it enters the battlefield, create two one, one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. And at the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. I love that last line because 
it just means that this is going to see playing commander. Um, there's so many effects that swap control of of different cards. Um, it also kind of goes against the whole Demir mechanic of stealing things from other people. So yeah, I, I, it's a nice card, and the fact that you get well two two twos because they're they're getting plus one plus one. Um, from her, as long as she survives. But no matter what, you're getting like, what, five, eight worth of stats? That's pretty good for five mana. And then everything else on the board that you control also uh, gets plus one, plus one. So yeah, decent card. Barrier of Bones, Take Heart, Swathcote Giant, Electrostatic Field, good for battle, and Risk Factor. I do like this card. So, three mana, instant, target op opponent may have Risk Factor deal four damage to them. If that player doesn't, you draw three cards, and also has Jump Start. So, generally, most players are going to take the four damage, which, you know, for three mana, that's fine. Uh, if they can't afford to take that 4 damage, then you're just getting like great card advantage off that. And the fact that you can jumpstart it again as well. So you can either deal 8 damage, or draw 6 cards, or some combination of those two, um, is pretty good. So, yeah. A lot of cards where it's opponent's choice, most people see as kind of like bad. But this one, you know, your opponent's always going to choose the one that's better for them, but... Neither of the choices are particularly good, so... Kind of like Combustible Gear Hulk, without the body. Yeah, skip all those. Uh, we've got Invert and Invent. Rampaging Monument, Grappling Sundew, and a Bounty of Might. Which is six mana, instant. Um, do it three times basically, so target creature gets plus three plus three until end of turn. You can put it all on the same creature, you can split it among three bodies, you can do two bodies, whatever. Uh, but nine nine worth of stats until end of turn for six mana is not too bad. Uh, it's it's alright as a finisher. Um, don't know how much players can see, but you know, it's a lot of stats for the mana. And then our last pack. You see everything in there, Crawl Swarm, Might of Masses, Inspiring Unicorn, and now I can say another, uh, Midnight Reaper. Oh, we even get a foil as well, which is a wary Okapi. So yeah, some, uh, some good stuff in this box. Got the usual two shocks. Uh, got a Mara. Mission Briefing, a pair of Mission Briefings. Um, the Assassin's Trophy. And then Mythics, we got some excellent Mythics actually. So there's Trostani, Frasca, Aurelia, and Doom Whisperer. So yeah, solid box. And the set is looking like a lot of fun. Um, I think Standard could be good again after so long of not being good. Um, so yeah, hopefully this fixes Standard a little bit and rotation is well, today as of recording the video, so excellent. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember, you can buy and sell any of the cards you've seen in this video on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. Um, stay tuned for more Guilds of Ravnica unboxing videos as well. We'll be doing everything that is being released. So yeah, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.